Welcome back to Willow's Notes. In today's video, we will talk about ligand-gated ion channels. Ligand-gated ion channels are membrane receptors, meaning they are found on the membrane, but not just the cell membrane, they are also on the membrane of many organelles. As always, with membrane-bound receptors, the signal binds to a specific site, which is on the extracellular site. When the signal binds the receptor, it changes its shape, which causes the gate to either open or close. And when the channel is open, ions such as sodium, potassium, calcium, depending on the type of the receptor, ions can just flow through. In this particular animation, we can see that the gate of the receptor is closed. The ligand binds to it, and the receptor changes its shape in such a way that the gate opens. The ions that will flow through are specific to the signal and the receptor. When the ions flow in, the concentration of those ions increases inside the cell, which will affect the activity of the cell and hence the response. Once the ligand leaves the receptor, the gate closes and the ions can no longer enter the cell. So we can say that the signal has been shut down. Ligand-gated ion channels are most abundant and important in neurons. Remember when we discussed synapses? The neurotransmitters that are released, okay? They are the ligands. They're the ones who bind to the receptors on the postsynaptic cell. Those receptors were ligand-gated because the binding of the neurotransmitters opens the channels and specific ions can flow in that will either excite the cell or inhibit the signal. Here we also have other ion channels that are not necessarily ligand-gated. They are voltage-gated. I'm talking about the calcium channels. What opens the calcium channels? It's the electric signal, right? The action potential. So here, it's not a chemical signal that is controlling this channel. It's an electrical signal that opens these channels, calcium enters, and triggers the neurotransmitters to fuse with the membrane. And this was it for today's video. I hope you found it easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!